Paul Smith, I'm in Dr. Mosley's Biology 1081 class, and I noticed uh, this week that several of us, my, myself included, had a little bit of difficulty with the DNA math problems, and so I wanted to give everyone an alternative way to think about them that might be simpler for you. Uh, because trying to take a word problem and turn it into an algebra problem isn't always intuitive. But you can actually answer these questions without an algebra equation at all if you just use a simple table like I'm going to show you how to do. So the only biology that you need to remember is that DNA bases, uh, thymine, adenine, cytosine, and guanine, combine in only very particular ways. And here are the three ways that you need to know. Uh, one is just that we call thymine and cytosine pyrimidines, and we call adenine and guanine purines. And you see those written out here for you. Um, secondly, pyrimidines always combine with purines in a one-to-one -one ratio. And lastly, thymine always pairs with adenine. You see those in the columns. Um, uh, and uh, cytosine always pairs with guanine. And, and that's it. That's all you really need to know to figure this out. Because of, because of those three facts, we know that in any DNA molecule, the percentage of the, and I'm going to use just the abbreviations here, the percentage of the T's and the C's has to add up to 50%, okay? Because they always pair one to one. Uh, and the same for A and G. The, the A plus the G is gonna have to equal 50%, all right? And then we know if we go down, the 50 plus the 50 has to equal 100. So, you know, whatever the T and the A is are gonna add up to some number, and whatever the C and the G are, are gonna add up to some number, and those two numbers are gonna have to add up to 100, okay? So really, with that information, if you know any of the four numbers in yellow, you can figure out what all the other three are without any other information. Literally, just draw yourself a tic-tac-toe board, fill in the information that, that I've got right there for you, and then the rest you can do on your own. So let's, let's do an example. So a DNA molecule containing 20% thymine would contain how much guanine? So here, we're given this number, and we're asked to figure out this number. All right, so let's just, let's just do that. We'll put in the number that we know. We know this is uh, 20%, all right? Well, uh, so let's go clockwise. You can go either direction, but let's just, we'll go clockwise in this example. So if the total is 50 in that row and the T is 20, the C has to be 30 because 20 plus 30 equals 50. Well, if the C is 50, the G, or 30, the G has to be 30 as well because they're always the same. They pair one to one. So if C is 30, G is 30. Well, 30 plus 30 is 60, so that goes here. Well, if the bottom row has to equal 100 and the second column is 60, that means the first column has to be 40. And then there's only one box left, and it has to be 20 because only 20 plus 20 equals 40. Now, the number we were asked for is this one. So we could have literally stopped when we got to the 30. That was the, the question. So we could have gotten there very quickly. But I just wanted you to see that you can actually fill out all of the boxes and answer all of the possible questions just by knowing any one of them. All right, let, let's go to, through it through two other quick examples because one of them is going to be trickier than the others. So first of all, this one, um, a DNA molecule containing 10% of cytosine would contain how much adenine? Okay, so here we're given this number and we're asked to figure out this number. Okay, so let's just do it. So we'll put in 10% here. Okay, in this case, let's work um, uh, counterclockwise just because we did the other direction on the other one. I want you to see you can do it both ways. So 50 minus 10 is 40. So 40 has to go in that box. There's no other number you could put in that box. All right, now we go down. If the T is 40, the A has to be 40 as well because they pair one to one. All right, 40 plus 40 is 80. All right, and if the total is 100 and the first column is 80, the second column has to equal a total of 20. All right, there's only one box left. What is it, what is it gonna be? It has to be 10. There's no other number that would make those numbers all those numbers work out, adding up top to bottom and left to right. Okay, in this case, we were asked for this number, so that's the answer. You could have, again, stopped when you got there, but I wanted you to see you can go all the way around and answer all the questions. All right, what's trickier is, what if you don't get any of those, if you're not given any of the four numbers in the main box, all right? Uh, and that can happen when, when Dr. Mosley will give us, she'll give us a hint as to what one of the numbers is, but she's not actually giving us the number. So she'll say something like, um, if cytosine is estimated to be 10% of the pyrimidines, what percent of the total bases is adenine? So here what she's doing is she's, she's not actually giving us this number here, but she's giving us a hint as to what that number is. 
she'll say if cytosine is estimated to be 10% of the pyrimidines. So she's saying this number is 10% of these, which means this number is 10% of 50. Well, what is 10% of 50? Well, it's 5, right? I mean, you can get that just by multiplying 50 by 10% or by 0.1 or however you want to do it, but the answer is 5. And now you have one of the four numbers that you need, and you can get all the others the same way. We'll just work this one down. So if C is 5, G has to be 5. It has to be the same number. 5 plus 5 is 10. 100 minus 10 is 90. The other two numbers have to add up to 90, and they have to be the same as each other. Well, it has to be 45 then. There's no other number that you can add to itself and get to 90. Or you could have subtracted. 50 minus 5 is 45. But either way, this is the number that you're looking for, and that's the answer. And these are the only two examples I've seen in class so far, and you can use the same little tic-tac-toe square to answer both of them. All right, let me know if you have any questions and if that works out for you. Good luck.